Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Jimmy. Thank you for joining me today. We are talking about Spice Bomb Fresh by Victor and Rolf. This is a flanker to Spice Bomb, of course, by Victor and Rolf. When Spice Bomb first came out, everyone liked it. Even I liked it. Um, it is spicy and something that I've never quite smelled before. I thought, how can someone wear spices as a fragrance? Shows how little I knew at the time, but now I can totally see. But after smelling spice bomb on other people and how much they would spray and how pungent it was, I mean, why would you want to smell like a spice cabinet? It does not make sense to me. It does not smell good, even though there is a slight designery take on it. I get it. But for me, it did not work well for me. So after smelling it on a few people and how it killed it for me, no more spice bomb for this guy. Um, what I was looking for, um, not recently, but a while back when I got this fragrance, was a barbershop scent. And I've checked out many uh, niche barbershop fragrances, including um, Mason Martin Margiela, which is more of a designer um, take on a barbershop scent uh, at the barbers. I did not like that fragrance. And uh, for those of you who like it, it's um, very well known and very well liked, but it's just kind of too airy for me. I couldn't pick out what was in there. Maybe it was kind of like ozonic. I'm not sure what was going on with that fragrance, but it didn't sit well with my nose. So I'm still on the hunt for a barbershop scent. And I think this is where uh, it fits. Uh, Spice Bomb Fresh, when I first smelled it, I was like, man, this is that barbershop in my head. When I, when I think of barbershop scents, it has that lavender and surprise, there is lavender in here. And it's more watered down, more aquatic, um, not as spicy, but when it dries down, the fresh um, citrus notes kind of go away as most do. And you have this nice layer of designery spice that's left behind that I really like. If you spray this on clothes, it lasts even longer. And But I don't think it like really pushes off too much. If you walk by someone, they'll smell you, but you can't just stand there. It's not gonna radiate to the ends of the earth. That's not what this kind of fragrance is. Spice Bomb, Spice Bomb, the intense version does that. But this one is more like, a not a skin scent, it's more stronger than that. But I do like this one in, in that safe sense uh, for this one. So if you're looking for a barbershop scent, try this one out. Some of the other notes here we have marina cord. Maybe they took a spice bomb and mixed it with marina and add some freshness to it. Lavender, elemi, whatever that is, moss, tobacco, and amber. It is a refreshing, it is a fresh scent with some spices that are left behind. And it's very original in that sense. None of my other fragrances that I have really smell like this. I can draw some parallels here for you. And I think it does smell similar to Allure Homme Sport Eau Extreme by Chanel. Now, some of you guys are saying, this is blasphemous. How can you possibly compare these two? I'm not saying they smell alike. I'm saying there, there are some similar uh, qualities. They're both kind of like spicy right? This is kind of peppery. It's more intense. This is like peppery, but more pulled back. This one has that mandarin. This one has some um, refreshing, light, marine um, citrusy notes that kind of die down. So there's that um, similar there. So if you kind of like this one, this one is a safer version of this one, in my opinion, but with some more interesting spices here. Um, this one, Versace Pour Homme, is a designery body wash version of uh, of this version here of Chanel Allure Home Sport Eau Extreme. So I would not say these are similar, but what I would say is that they're both marine. They're both aquatic, um, not marine, more, more aquatic to my nose. They smell a bit watered down, a bit safer, and both have that designery um, appeal that Versace tends to have. I think that is in the fresh version of Spice Bomb. So if you're looking for something like Spice Bomb and you think like, man, I wish there was a barbershop scent out there that is super safe, that's a little on the lighter side, that's not gonna push off to everybody in the bus that you're on, then definitely check out this bottle here, which happens to be a 100 ml bottle, a tester version, which is the same as a retail packaging here. Uh, the Spice Bomb Fresh by Victor and Rolf. I think you'll definitely like it. When it first came out, no one really liked it, but I really loved it from the first moment I'd smelled it. And it's time that I let people know that I like it in case it gives you a chance to try it out yourself. I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.